One man to go, Joseph Newgarden. Does he go for that pole? Does he go for that point? Or does he go conservative because he's got Rossi further back than in a comfortable spot? Can't go, too, can't go too conservative because his team, Penske teammate, Simon Pagano is P3 at the moment. So one bonus point up for grabs for the NTTP1 award. Final car in the final oval qualifying of the year. And it's the championship leader, Joseph Newgarden. First time by, I'll be green next time. Voice of Tim Sindrick, president of Team Penske. Always on the radio to Joseph. Now, if he cannot topple Sebastian Bourdais' incredible run of 185.9 miles an hour, it'll be Bourdais' first pole in a year and a half. Phoenix last year was Seabass's last pole. We're going to see right here in turn one. Big entry speed. That looked pretty good, Paul. Yeah, it looked not bad. Look at Bourdais. Oh, it's tracking P1, too. Craig Hampson looking on at the bottom left of your screen. Can he keep it tracking that way? Will Power had it tracking P1. Ran that high line like Newgarden just did, and he lost a little bit. Does it? Does he lose? Whoa. 6.6 monster lap. That is a huge first lap. And look at Sebastian just laughing, saying, Oh boy, I'm not sure I can stand for that. Oh, and Santino Ferrucci's in on it as well. They know that something has to go awry over these final two turns. Joseph Newgarden has stepped up when he needed to. Check and flag out. Newgarden on pole. Well done, man. Great monster day. lap. That is awesome. You gotta get it done, right? I'd say so. That's how to get it done. And that is Joseph Newgarden's second pole position of the year. Night racing coming up tomorrow night just outside St. Louis and the championship leader Joseph Newgarden will lead the field to the green with his eighth career pole plus a bonus point in the championship, now plus 36. Significance of that and most importantly, starting up front. Yeah, it helps. I, I'm, I'm glad we got this one finished off. This was kind of like an Iowa situation to me. Like, you know, when we were in Iowa practicing, I said, this is the car that can win the pole. And we just, we missed it by a little bit. And I, I would have been so mad at us as a, as a unit if we did that again. I just, so happy we got it right. The guys did an amazing job, PPG car. It was so good right off the truck. We didn't touch it, um, at least going into qualifying. We made a couple of adjustments in practice one, but once we finished, it was like, don't touch it. Let's just run the thing for, for qualifying. So I was really happy with it. Chevy's done an amazing job. You saw we had the power there to get the pull. So um, now we just got to finish it off tomorrow night. Some of your championship rivals are starting closer to mid-pack. What kind of comfort level, if any, does that give you? Uh, I mean, it's you know it's good for the start, but these races are so shooken up nowadays that you can't really count on qualifying. It's really just nice for the beginning of the race. Gives you track position, hopefully get out of the mess, um, but that doesn't mean or guarantee anything for the race. You've got to watch those guys. Fuel mileage became an issue last year. At least it became a you know a prominent um, figure of the race. Like that's what it was all about. So will that be the same this year? Or will it be something different? You don't always you can't always predict it. So I, I don't think it gives us too much comfort. But for the start of the race, we'll take it. So there's a final practice coming up tonight that should be in the same conditions as the race. By the way, you can watch that on NBC Sports Gold. What do you need to get done? Do you feel like you're already in a pretty good window for the race as well, or nighttime does it change everything? Well, the good news was the car was great by itself right off the truck. So for qualifying, I felt confident. I've not gotten behind anyone in a, in a traffic situation or in tow, so I, I don't know what the car's like in dirty air. Um, that's our next thing now. we got to make sure that we're pretty good in dirty air. We can get through traffic if we need to, and then that the car can survive the stints. That's what you kind of work on in these races is how do the tires live, how do they start to go off. Um, we'll get our answer tonight, but that's we're going to be working on longevity for sure. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. He knows he's got clean air, at least a chance of it, to start the race tomorrow night.